Brussels French, Bruxelles Bizzle, Listen, Dutch, Brussels Brussels Listen, officially the Brussels Capital Region French, Région de Bruxelles Capitale, Dutch, Brussels Hoofstedelijk Guist, is a region of Belgium comprising 19 municipalities, including the city of Brussels, which is the capital of Belgium. The Brussels Capital Region is located in the central portion of the country and is a part of both the French Community of Belgium and the Flemish Community, but is separate from the Flemish Region in which it forms an enclave and the Walloon Region. Brussels is the most densely populated and the richest region in Belgium in terms of GDP per capita. It covers 161 square kilometers, 62 square miles, a relatively small area compared to the two other regions and has a population of 1.2 million. The metropolitan area of Brussels counts over 2.1 million people, which makes it the largest in Belgium. It is also part of a large conurbation extending towards Ghent, Antwerp, Leuven, and Walloon Brabant, home to over 5 million people. Brussels grew from a small rural settlement on the River Seine to become an important city region in Europe. Since the end of the Second World War, it has been a major centre for international politics and the home of numerous international organisations, politicians, diplomats and civil servants. Brussels is the de facto capital of the European Union, as it hosts a number of principal EU institutions the two other capitals are Luxembourg and Strasbourg and its name is sometimes used metonymically to describe the EU and its institutions. The Secretariat of the Benelux and headquarters of NATO are also located in Brussels. As the economic capital of Belgium and one of the top financial centres of Western Europe with Euronext Brussels, it is classified as an alpha global city. Brussels is a hub for rail, road and air traffic, sometimes earning the moniker, Crossroads of Europe. The Brussels Metro is the only rapid transit system in Belgium. In addition, both its airport and railway stations are the largest and busiest in the country. Historically Dutch speaking, Brussels saw a language shift to French from the late 19th century. The Brussels capital region is officially bilingual in Dutch and French, even though French is now the de facto main language with over 90% of the population speaking it. Brussels is also increasingly becoming multilingual. English is spoken as a second language by nearly a third of the population, and a large number of migrants and expatriates speak other languages. Brussels is known for its cuisine and gastronomy, as well as its historical and architectural landmarks. Some of them are registered as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Main attractions include its historic Grand Place, Mannequin Pies, Atomium, and cultural institutions such as La Monnaie and the Museums of Art and History. It is also a capital of the comic strip. Toponymy Etymology <toponymy> 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 The most common theory of the origin of the name Brussels is that it derives from the Old Dutch Bruxella, Broxel or Broxel, meaning marsh, Bruach, broke, and home, Sella, Zeel, Cell, or home in the marsh. Saint Vindicianus, the Bishop of Cambrai, made the first recorded reference to the place Brussella in 695, when it was still a hamlet. The names of all the municipalities in the Brussels capital region are also of Dutch origin, except for Everay, which is Celtic. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pronunciation. In French, Bruxelles is pronounced Bizzle, the X is pronounced like in English, and in Dutch, Brussels is pronounced Brussel. Inhabitants of Brussels are known in French as Bruxellois and in Dutch as Brusselaars. In the Brabantian dialect of Brussels, they are called Brusseliers or Brusselaires. Originally, the written X noted the group. In the Belgian-French pronunciation as well as in Dutch, the K eventually disappeared and Z became S, as reflected in the current Dutch spelling, whereas in the more conservative French form, the spelling remained. The pronunciation in French only dates from the 18th century, but this modification did not affect the traditional Brussels usage. In France, the pronunciations Bixel and Bicolois for Bruxellois are often heard, but are rather rare in Belgium. History See also, History of Brussels in French Early history 
The history of Brussels is closely linked to that of Western Europe. Traces of human settlement go back to the Stone Age, with vestiges and place names related to the civilization of megaliths, dolmens and standing stones Platistine, Tomberg. During late antiquity, the region was home to Roman occupation, as attested by archaeological evidence discovered near the center. Following the decline of the Western Roman Empire, it was incorporated into the Frankish Empire. The origin of the settlement which was to become Brussels lies in St. Gagericus's construction of a chapel on an island in the River Seine around 580. The official founding of Brussels is usually situated around 979, when Duke Charles of Lower Lotharingia transferred the relics of St. Gudula from Morsel to the St. Gagericus Chapel. Charles would construct the first permanent fortification in the city, doing so on that same island. Middle Ages Lambert I of Leuven, Count of Leuven, gained the county of Brussels around 1000, by marrying Charles's daughter. Because of its location on the shores of the Seine, on an important trade route between Bruges and Ghent, and Cologne, Brussels became a commercial centre specialised in the textile trade. The town grew quite rapidly and extended towards the upper town, Troinburg, Codenburg, and Sablin areas, where there was a smaller risk of floods. As it grew to a population of around 30,000, the surrounding marshes were drained to allow for further expansion. Around this time, work began on the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudula 1225, replacing an older Romanesque church. In 1183, the Counts of Leuven became Dukes of Brabant. Brabant, unlike the County of Flanders, was not fief of the King of France but was incorporated into the Holy Roman Empire. In the early 13th century, Brussels got its first walls, and after this, the city grew significantly. To let the city expand, a second set of walls was erected, between 1356 and 1383. Traces of it can still be seen today, mostly because the small ring, a series of roadways bounding the historic city centre, follows its former course. Early modern. In the 15th century, by means of the wedding of heiress Margaret III of Flanders with Philip the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, a new Duke of Brabant emerged from the House of Valois namely Antoine, their son. In 1477, the Burgundian Duke Charles the Bold perished in the Battle of Nancy. Through the marriage of his daughter Mary of Burgundy who was born in Brussels to Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I, the Low Countries fell under Habsburg sovereignty. Brabant had lost its independence, but Brussels became the princely capital of the prosperous Burgundian Netherlands, also known as the Seventeen Provinces, and flourished. After the death of Mary in 1482, her son Philip the Handsome succeeded as Duke of Brabant. In 1506, he became King of Castile, and hence the period of the Spanish Netherlands began. In 1516, Charles V, who had been heir of the Low Countries since 1506, was declared King of Spain in the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudula. Upon the death of his grandfather Maximilian I, Holy Roman Emperor in 1519, Charles became the new ruler of the Habsburg Empire and was subsequently elected Holy Roman Emperor. It was in the palace complex at Codenburg that Charles V abdicated in 1555. This impressive palace, famous all over Europe, had greatly expanded since it had first become the seat of the Dukes of Brabant, but it was destroyed by fire in 1731. In the 17th century, the city was a capital of the lace industry. In 1695, during the Nine Years' War, King Louis XIV of France sent troops to bombard Brussels with artillery. Together with the resulting fire, it was the most destructive event in the entire history of Brussels. The Grand Place was destroyed, along with 4,000 buildings, a third of all the buildings in the city. The reconstruction of the city centre, effected during subsequent years, profoundly changed its appearance and left numerous traces still visible today. Following the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713, Spanish sovereignty over the southern Netherlands was transferred to the Austrian branch of the House of Habsburg. This event started the era of the Austrian Netherlands. Brussels was captured by France in 1746, during the War of the Austrian Succession, but was handed back to Austria three years later. It remained with Austria until 1795, when the southern Netherlands were captured and annexed by France, and became the capital of the Department of the Dial. 
The French rule ended in 1815, with the defeat of Napoleon on the battlefield of Waterloo, located south of today's Brussels capital region. With the Congress of Vienna, the Southern Netherlands joined the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, under William I of Orange. The former Dial Department became the province of South Brabant, with Brussels as its capital. Late modern In 1830, the Belgian Revolution took place in Brussels, after a performance of Aubers' opera La Mouette de Portici at Le Manet Theatre. The city became the capital and seat of government of the new nation. South Brabant was renamed simply Brabant, with Brussels as its administrative centre. On 21 July 1831, Leopold I, the first king of the Belgians, ascended the throne, undertaking the destruction of the city walls and the construction of many buildings. Following independence, Brussels underwent many more changes. It became a financial centre, thanks to the dozens of companies put into orbit by the Société Générale de Belgique. The Industrial Revolution and the building of the Brussels Charleroi Canal brought prosperity to the city through commerce and manufacturing. The Free University of Brussels was established in 1834. In 1835, the first passenger railway built outside England linked the municipality of Molenbeek with Mechelen. During the 19th century, the population of Brussels grew considerably, from about 80,000 to more than 625,000 people for the city and its surroundings. The Seine had become a serious health hazard, and from 1867 to 1871, under the tenure of Mayor Jules Anspach, its entire course through the urban area was completely covered over. This allowed urban renewal and the construction of modern buildings of Haussmannian style along central boulevards, characteristic of downtown Brussels today. Buildings such as the Brussels Stock Exchange 1873, the Palace of Justice 1883, and St. Mary's Royal Church 1885 date from this period. This development continued throughout the reign of King Leopold II. The International Exposition of 1897 contributed to the promotion of the infrastructure. Among other things, the Colonial Palace today's Royal Museum for Central Africa, in the suburb of Tervuren, was connected to the capital by the construction of an 11 km long Grand Alley. Twentieth century During the 20th century, the city hosted various fairs and conferences, including the Solvay Conference on Physics and on Chemistry, and three world fairs, the Brussels International Exposition of 1910, the Brussels International Exposition of 1935 and the Expo 58. During World War I, Brussels was an occupied city, but German troops did not cause much damage. During World War II, it was again occupied by German forces, and spared major damage, before it was liberated by the British Guards Armoured Division on 3 September 1944. The Brussels Airport, in the suburb of Zaventem, dates from the occupation. After the war, Brussels underwent extensive modernisation. The construction of the North-South Connection, linking the main railway stations in the city, was completed in 1952, while the first premetro was finished in 1969, and the first line of the metro was opened in 1976. Starting from the early 1960s, Brussels became the de facto capital of what would become the European Union, and many modern buildings were built. Development was allowed to proceed with little regard to the aesthetics of newer buildings, and many architectural landmarks were demolished to make way for newer buildings that often clashed with their surroundings, giving name to the process of Brusselization. Contemporary The Brussels capital region was formed on 18 June 1989, after a constitutional reform in 1988. It is one of the three federal regions of Belgium, along with Flanders and Wallonia, and has bilingual status. The yellow iris is the emblem of the region referring to the presence of these flowers on the original site of the city and a stylized version in shown on its official flag. In recent years, Brussels has become an important venue for international events. In 2000, it and eight other European cities were named European Capital of Culture. 
In 2014, the city hosted the 40th G7 summit. On the 22nd of March 2016, three coordinated nail bombings were detonated by ISIL in Brussels, two at Brussels Airport in Zaventem, and one at Malbec, Malbec Metro Station, resulting in 32 victims and three suicide bombers killed, and 330 people were injured. It was the deadliest act of terrorism in Belgium. Topic. Geography Topic. Location and topography Brussels lies in the north-central part of Belgium, about 110 kilometers 68 miles from the Belgian coast and about 180 kilometers 110 miles from the southern tip of Belgium. It is located in the heartland of the Brabantian Plateau, about 45 kilometers (28 miles) south of Antwerp, Flanders, and 50 kilometers (31 miles) north of Charleroi, Wallonia. Its average elevation is 57 meters (187 feet) above sea level, varying from a low point in the valley of the almost completely covered Seine, which cuts the region from east to west, up to high points in the Sonian Forest at the southeastern side. In addition to the Seine, tributary streams such as the Malbec and the Wolu, to the east of the region, account for significant elevation differences. Brussels' central boulevards are 15 metres 49 feet above sea level. The highest point lies at a height of about 108 metres 354 feet, near Place de l'Altitude Saint, Hugti Hondertplein, in forest. Topic. Climate. Under the Köppen climate classification, Brussels experiences an oceanic climate CFB. Proximity to coastal areas influences the area's climate by sending marine air masses from the Atlantic Ocean. Nearby wetlands also ensure a maritime temperate climate. On average, based on measurements over the last 100 years, there are approximately 200 days of rain per year in the Brussels capital region, one of the highest totals for any European capital. Snowfall is infrequent, averaging 24 days per year. The city also often experiences violent thunderstorms. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Brussels as a capital. Despite its name, the Brussels capital region is not the capital of Belgium. Article 194 of the Belgian Constitution establishes that the capital of Belgium is the city of Brussels, the municipality in the region that is the city's core. The city of Brussels is the location of many national institutions. The Royal Palace, where the King of Belgium exercises his prerogatives as head of state, is situated alongside the Brussels Park, not to be confused with the Royal Castle of Laeken, the official home of the Belgian royal family. The Palace of the Nation is located on the opposite side of this park, and is the seat of the Belgian Federal Parliament. The office of the Prime Minister of Belgium, colloquially called La Street 16 Dutch, Wetstraat 16, French, 16, Rue de la Loire, is located adjacent to this building. It is also where the Council of Ministers holds its meetings. The Court of Cassation, Belgium's main court, has its seat in the Palace of Justice. Other important institutions in the city of Brussels are the Constitutional Court, the Council of State, the Court of Audit, the Royal Belgian Mint and the National Bank of Belgium. The city of Brussels is also the capital of both the French community of Belgium and the Flemish community. The Flemish Parliament and Flemish government have their seats in Brussels, and so do the Parliament of the French community and the government of the French community. Municipalities The 19 municipalities communes of the Brussels capital region are political subdivisions with individual responsibilities for the handling of local level duties, such as law enforcement and the upkeep of schools and roads within its borders. Municipal administration is also conducted by a mayor, a council, and an executive. In 1831, Belgium was divided into 2,739 municipalities, including the 19 in the Brussels capital region. Unlike most of the municipalities in Belgium, the ones located in the Brussels capital region were not merged with others during mergers occurring in 1964, 1970, and 1975. 
However, several municipalities outside the Brussels capital region have been merged with the city of Brussels throughout its history, including Laken, Heron, and Netter over Heembeek, which were merged into the city of Brussels in 1921. The largest in area and population of the municipalities is the city of Brussels, covering 32.6 square kilometers (12.6 square miles) and with 145,917 inhabitants. The least populous is Kokelberg with 18,541 inhabitants. The smallest in area is St. Jos ten Noda, which is only 1.1 square kilometers (0.4 square miles) but still has the highest population density in the region with 20,822 inhabitants per square kilometer (53,930 per square miles). Watermael Boitsfurt has the lowest population density in the region, with 1,928 inhabitants per square kilometre There is much controversy on the division of 19 municipalities for a highly urbanised region, which is considered as half of one city by most people. Some politicians mock the 19 baronies and want to merge the municipalities under one city council and one mayor. That would lower the number of politicians needed to govern Brussels, and centralize the power over the city to make decisions easier, thus reduce the overall running costs. The current municipalities could be transformed into districts with limited responsibilities, similar to the current structure of Antwerp or to structures of other capitals like the boroughs in London or arrondissements in Paris, to keep politics close enough to the citizen. As of early 2016, St. Jan's Molenbeek held a reputation as a safe haven for jihadists in relation to the support shown by some residents towards the bombers who carried out the Paris and Brussels attacks. Municipalities of Brussels Topic. Brussels Capital Region Topic. Political status The Brussels Capital Region is one of the three federated regions of Belgium, alongside the Walloon Region and the Flemish Region. Geographically and linguistically, it is a bilingual enclave in the monolingual Flemish Region. Regions are one component of Belgium's institutions, the three communities being the other component. Brussels inhabitants deal with either the French community or the Flemish community for matters such as culture and education, as well as a common community for competencies which do not belong exclusively to either community, such as health care and social welfare. Since the splitting of Brabant in 1995, the Brussels region does not belong to any of the provinces of Belgium, nor is it subdivided into provinces itself. Within the region, 99% of the areas of provincial jurisdiction are assumed by the Brussels regional institutions and community commissions. Remaining is only the governor of Brussels' capital and some aides, analogously to provinces. Its status is roughly akin to that of a federal district. <laughs> <laughs> institutions The Brussels capital region is governed by a parliament of 89 members 72 French-speaking, 17 Dutch-speaking, parties are organised on a linguistic basis and an eight-member regional cabinet consisting of a minister-president, four ministers and three state secretaries. By law, the cabinet must comprise two French-speaking and two Dutch-speaking ministers, one Dutch-speaking secretary of state and two French-speaking secretaries of state. The minister-president does not count against the language quota, but in practice every minister-president has been a bilingual francophone. The regional parliament can enact ordinances French, ordonances, Dutch, ordonantes, which have equal status as a national legislative act. Nineteen of the 72 French-speaking members of the Brussels Parliament are also members of the Parliament of the French Community of Belgium, and, until 2004, this was also the case for six Dutch-speaking members, who were at the same time members of the Flemish Parliament. Now, people voting for a Flemish party have to vote separately for six directly elected members of the Flemish Parliament. Agglomeration of Brussels. Before the creation of the Brussels Capital Region, regional competences in the 19 municipalities were performed by the Brussels Agglomeration. The Brussels Agglomeration was an administrative division established in 1971. 
This decentralized administrative public body also assumed jurisdiction over areas which, elsewhere in Belgium, were exercised by municipalities or provinces. The Brussels agglomeration had a separate legislative council, but the bylaws enacted by it did not have the status of a legislative act. The only election of the council took place on the 21st of November 1971. The working of the council was subject to many difficulties caused by the linguistic and socio-economic tensions between the two communities. After the creation of the Brussels Capital Region, the Brussels agglomeration was never formally abolished, although it no longer has a purpose. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> French and Flemish communities. The French community and the Flemish community exercise their powers in Brussels through two community-specific public authorities, the French Community Commission French, Commission Communautaire Française or COCOF and the Flemish Community Commission Dutch, Vlaams Gemeenschapscommissie or VGC. These two bodies each have an assembly composed of the members of each linguistic group of the Parliament of the Brussels Capital Region. They also have a board composed of the ministers and secretaries of state of each linguistic group in the government of the Brussels capital region. The French Community Commission has also another capacity. Some legislative powers of the French community have been devolved to the Walloon region for the French language area of Belgium and to the French Community Commission for the bilingual language area. The Flemish community, however, did the opposite. It merged the Flemish region into the Flemish community. This is related to different conceptions in the two communities, one focusing more on the communities and the other more on the regions, causing an asymmetrical federalism. Because of this devolution, the French Community Commission can enact decrees, which are legislative acts. <laughs> Common Community Commission A bi-communitarian public authority, the Common Community Commission French, Commission Communautaire Commune, COCOM, Dutch, Gemeenschappelijke Gemeenschapscommissie, GGC also exists. Its assembly is composed of the members of the regional parliament, and its board are the ministers, not the secretaries of state, of the region, with the minister-president not having the right to vote. This commission has two capacities, it is a decentralized administrative public body, responsible for implementing cultural policies of common interest. It can give subsidies and enact by laws. In another capacity, it can also enact ordinances, which have equal status as a national legislative act. In the field of the welfare powers of the communities, in the Brussels capital region, both the French community and the Flemish community can exercise powers in the field of welfare, but only in regard to institutions that are unilingual, for example, a private French speaking retirement home or the Dutch speaking hospital of the Vrije Universiteit at Brussels. The Common Community Commission is responsible for policies aiming directly at private persons or at bilingual institutions for example, the Centers for Social Welfare of the 19 municipalities. Its ordinances have to be enacted with a majority in both linguistic groups. Failing such a majority, a new vote can be held, where a majority of at least one-third in each linguistic group is sufficient. International institutions Brussels has, since World War II, become the administrative centre of many international organisations. The European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation have their main institutions in the city, along with many other international organisations such as the World Customs Organisation and Eurocontrol, as well as international corporations. Brussels is third in the number of international conferences it hosts, also becoming one of the largest convention centres in the world. The presence of the EU and the other international bodies has, for example, led to there being more ambassadors and journalists in Brussels than in Washington, D.C. International schools have also been established to serve this presence. The international community in Brussels numbers at least 70,000 people. In 2009, there were an estimated 286 lobbying consultancies known to work in Brussels. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> European Union. Brussels serves as de facto capital of the European Union, hosting the major political institutions of the Union. 
The EU has not declared a capital formally, though the Treaty of Amsterdam formally gives Brussels the seat of the European Commission the executive branch of government and the Council of the European Union a legislative institution made up from executives of member states. It locates the formal seat of European Parliament in Strasbourg, where votes take place, with the Council, on the proposals made by the Commission. However, meetings of political groups and committee groups are formally given to Brussels, along with a set number of plenary sessions. Three quarters of Parliament sessions now take place at its Brussels hemicycle. Between 2002 and 2004, the European Council also fixed its seat in the city. In 2014, the Union hosted a G7 summit in the city. Brussels, along with Luxembourg and Strasbourg, began to host European institutions in 1957, soon becoming the centre of activities, as the Commission and Council based their activities in what has become the European Quarter, in the east of the city. Early building in Brussels was sporadic and uncontrolled, with little planning. The current major buildings are the Berlaymont building of the Commission, symbolic of the Quarter as a whole, the Justice Lipschitz building of the Council and the Espace Leopold of the Parliament. Today, the presence has increased considerably, with the Commission alone occupying 865,000 square metres within the European Quarter a quarter of the total office space in Brussels. The concentration and density has caused concern that the presence of the institutions has created a ghetto effect in that part of the city. However, the European presence has contributed significantly to the importance of Brussels as an international centre. Eurocontrol The European Organisation for the Safety of Air Navigation, commonly known as Eurocontrol, is an international organisation which coordinates and plans air traffic control across European airspace. The corporation was founded in 1960 and currently has 41 member states. Its headquarters are located in Heron, on the northeast perimeter of the city of Brussels. North Atlantic Treaty Organization The Treaty of Brussels, which was signed on 17 March 1948 between Belgium, France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, was a prelude to the establishment of the Intergovernmental Military Alliance which later became the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO. Today, the alliance consists of 29 independent member countries across North America and Europe. Several countries also have diplomatic missions to NATO through embassies in Belgium. Since 1949, a number of NATO summits have been held in Brussels, the most recent taking place in May 2017. The organization's political and administrative headquarters are located on Boulevard Leopold III, Leopold III Lawn in Heron, Brussels. A new €750 million Euros headquarters building begun in 2010 and was completed in 2017. Demographics Population Brussels is located in one of the most urbanised regions of Europe, between Paris, London, the Rhine-Ruhr and the Randstad the Brussels capital region has a population of around 1.2 million and has witnessed, in recent years, a remarkable increase in its population. In general, the population of Brussels is younger than the national average, and the gap between rich and poor is wider. Brussels and its suburbs, taking into account its outer commuter zone RER, Gen area, have a population of about 2.6 million and extend over a large part of the two Brabant provinces. Brussels is also part of a wider diamond-shaped conurbation, with Ghent, Antwerp and Leuven, which has about 4.4 million inhabitants a little more than 40% of the total population of Belgium. Nationalities Brussels is home to a large number of immigrants. At the last Belgian census in 1991, 63.7% of inhabitants in Brussels' capital region answered that they were Belgian citizens, born as such in Belgium. 
However, there have been numerous individual or familial migrations towards Brussels since the end of the 18th century, including political refugees Karl Marx, Victor Hugo, Pierre-Joseph Proudhon, Léon Daudet, for example, from neighbouring or more distant countries, as well as labour migrants, former foreign students or expatriates, and many Belgian families in Brussels can claim at least one foreign grandparent. Brussels has a large concentration of immigrants from other countries, and their children, including many of Moroccan Riffian, Berber, and Turkish ancestry, together with French-speaking black Africans from former Belgian colonies, such as the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Rwanda and Burundi. People of foreign origin make up nearly 70% of the population of Brussels, most of whom have been naturalized following the great 1991 reform of the naturalization process. About 32% of city residents are of non-Belgian European origin, and 36% are of another background, mostly from Morocco, Turkey and Sub-Saharan Africa. Among all major migrant groups from outside the EU, a majority of the permanent residents have acquired Belgian nationality. Languages <inaudible> 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 Since the founding of the Kingdom of Belgium in 1830, Brussels has transformed from being almost entirely Dutch-speaking Brabantian dialect to be exact, to being a multilingual city with French specifically Belgian French as the majority language and lingua franca. This language shift, the Francization of Brussels, is rooted in the 18th century and accelerated after Belgium became independent and Brussels expanded past its original boundaries. French speaking immigration contributed to the Frenchification of Brussels. Both Walloons and expatriates from other countries, mainly France, came to Brussels in great numbers. However, a more important cause for the Frenchification was the language change over several generations from Dutch to French that was carried out by Flemish inhabitants themselves. The main reason for this was a political, administrative and social pressure, partly based on the low social prestige of the Dutch language in Belgium at the time. This made French the only language of administration, law, politics and education in Belgium, and thus necessary for social mobility. From 1880 on, faced with the necessity of using French in dealing with such institutions, more and more Dutch speakers in Brussels became bilingual, and a rise in the number of monolingual French speakers was seen after 1910. Halfway through the 20th century, the number of monolingual French speakers surpassed the number of mostly bilingual Flemish inhabitants. Only since the 1960s, after the fixation of the Belgian language border, and after the socio economic development of Flanders was in full effect, could Dutch stem the tide of increasing French use. Through immigration, a further number of formerly Dutch speaking municipalities surrounding Brussels became majoritively French speaking in the second half of the 20th century. This phenomenon is, together with the future of Brussels, one of the most controversial topics in all of Belgian politics. Given its Dutch-speaking origins and the role that the city of Brussels plays as capital in a bilingual country, the administration of the entire Brussels capital region is fully bilingual, including its subdivisions and public services. Nevertheless, some communautarian issues remain. Flemish political parties demanded, for decades, that the Flemish part of Brussels Halle Vilvoorde arrondissement be separated from the Brussels region, which made Halle Vilvoorde a monolingual Flemish arrondissement. BHV was divided mid 2012. The French speaking population regards the language border as artificial and demands the extension of the bilingual region to at least all six municipalities with language facilities in the surroundings of Brussels. Flemish politicians have strongly rejected these proposals. The original Dutch dialect of Brussels, Brussels is a form of Brabantic the variant of Dutch spoken in the ancient Duchy of Brabant with a significant number of loanwords from French, and still survives among a minority of inhabitants called Brusseliers, many of them quite bi and multilingual, or educated in French and not writing in Dutch. Brussels and its suburbs have evolved from a Dutch dialect-speaking town to a mainly French-speaking town. The ethnic and national self-identification of the inhabitants is quite different along ethnic lines. For their French-speaking Bruxellois, it can vary from Belgian, Francophone Belgian, Bruxellois like the Memelanders in interwar ethnic censuses in Memel, Walloon for people who migrated from the Wallonia region at an adult age, for Flemings living in Brussels, it is mainly either Flemish or Brusselaar Dutch for an inhabitant, and often both. For the Brusseliers, many simply consider themselves as belonging to Brussels. 
For the many rather recent immigrants from other countries, the identification also includes all the national origins. People tend to call themselves Moroccans or Turks rather than an American style hyphenated version. The two largest foreign groups come from two Francophone countries, France and Morocco. The first language of roughly half of the inhabitants is not an official one of the capital region. Nevertheless, about three out of four residents are Belgian nationals. In recent decades, owing to migration and the city's international role, Brussels is home to a growing number of foreign language speakers. In 2013, figures cited in the Marnix Plan show that 63.2% of Brussels' inhabitants are native speakers of French, while less than 20% are native Dutch speakers. Just 2.5% speak English as their mother tongue, but 29.7% of people living in the city claim to speak English well or very well. Even though some people want English to be used as an unofficial compromise language between Dutch and French, French remains the lingua franca, and laws still require Dutch and French translations in most cases. The acceptance of English as a language for communication with the city's public servants depends entirely on their knowledge of this language, though they must accept questions in French and Dutch. The migrant communities, as well as rapidly growing communities of EU nationals from other member states, speak many languages like French, Turkish, Arabic, Berber, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, German, and increasingly English. The degree of linguistic integration varies widely within each migrant group. Religions Historically, Brussels has been predominantly Roman Catholic, especially since the expulsion of Protestants in the 16th century. This is clear from the large number of historical churches around the area, particularly in the city of Brussels. The preeminent Catholic cathedral in Brussels is the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudula, which serves as the co-cathedral of the Archdiocese of Mechelen Brussels. On the northwestern side of the city, the National Basilica of the Sacred Heart is the 14th largest church building in the world. The Church of Our Lady of Laken holds the tombs of many members of the Belgian royal family, including all the former kings of Belgium, within the royal crypt. In reflection of its multicultural makeup, Brussels hosts a variety of religious communities, as well as large numbers of atheists and agnostics. Minority faiths include Islam, Anglicanism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Judaism, and Buddhism. According to a 2016 survey, approximately 40% of residents of Brussels declared themselves Catholics 12% were practicing Catholics and 28% were non-practicing Catholics, 30% were non-religious, 23% were Muslim 19% practicing, 4% non-practicing, 3% were Protestants and 4% were of another religion. Recognized religions and laicite enjoy public funding and school courses. It was once the case that every pupil in an official school from 6 years old to 18 had to choose two hours per week of compulsory religion, or laicite-inspired morals. However, in 2015, the Belgian Constitutional Court ruled religious studies could no longer be required in the primary and secondary education system. Brussels has a large concentration of Muslims, mostly of Moroccan and Turkish ancestry. The Great Mosque of Brussels, located in the Parc du Cinquantenaire, Jubal Park, is the oldest mosque in Brussels. Belgium does not collect statistics by ethnic background, so exact figures are unknown. It was estimated that, in 2005, people of Muslim background living in the Brussels region numbered 256,220 and accounted for 25.5% of the city's population, a much higher concentration than those of the other regions of Belgium. Topic Culture Topic Architecture The architecture in Brussels is diverse, and spans from the clashing combination of Gothic, Baroque, and Louis XIV styles on the Grand Place to the postmodern buildings of the EU institutions. Very little medieval architecture is preserved in Brussels. Buildings from that period are mostly found in the historic centre called Illet Sacra, St. Jerry, St. Gorix and St. Catherine, St. Caitligne neighbourhoods. The Brabantine Gothic Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudula remains a prominent feature in the skyline of downtown Brussels. Isolated portions of the first city walls were saved from destruction and can be seen to this day. One of the only remains of the second walls is the Halley Gate. 
The Grand Place is the main attraction in the city centre and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1998. The square is dominated by the 15th-century flamboyant town hall, the neo-Gothic breadhouse and the Baroque guildhalls of the Guilds of Brussels. The Mannequin Pies, a fountain containing a small bronze sculpture of a urinating youth, is a tourist attraction and symbol of the city. The neoclassical style of the 18th and 19th centuries is represented in the Royal Quarter, Codenburg area, around the Brussels Park and Royal Square. Examples include the Royal Palace, the Church of St. Jacques sur Codenburg, the Palace of the Nation Parliament Building, the Academy Palace, the Palace of Charles of Lorraine and the Egmont Palace. Other uniform neoclassical ensembles can be found around Martyrs Square and Barricades Square. Some other landmarks in the centre are the Galleries Royales St. Hubert 1847, one of the oldest covered shopping arcades in Europe, the Congress Column 1859, the Brussels Stock Exchange Building 1873, and the Palace of Justice 1883, designed by Joseph Poehlert, in eclectic style, and reputed to be the largest building constructed in the 19th century, located outside the centre, in a greener environment, are the Cinquantenaire Park with its triumphal arch and nearby museums, and in Laken, the Royal Castle of Laken and the Royal Domain with its large greenhouses, as well as the museums of the Far East. Also particularly striking are the buildings in the Art Nouveau style, most famously by the Belgian architects Victor Horta, Paul Hanker and Henry van de Velde. Some of Brussels' municipalities, such as Cherbeek, Etterbeek, Ixelles, and St. Giles, were developed during the heyday of Art Nouveau and have a large number of buildings in that style. The major town houses of the architect Victor Horta, Hotel Tassel 1893, Hotel Solvay 1894, Hotel Van Eetvelde 1895, and the Horta Museum 1901 have been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2000. Another example of Brussels Art Nouveau is the Stoklet Palace 1911, by the Viennese architect Joseph Hoffmann, designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in June 2009. Art Nouveau in Brussels Art Deco structures in Brussels include the Residence Palace 1927, now part of the Europa Building, the Centre for Fine Arts 1928, the Villa Empain 1934, the Town Hall of Forest 1938, and the former House of the Radio Building on Flaggy Square 1935-1938 in Ixelles. Some religious buildings from the interwar era were also constructed in that style, such as the Church of St. John the Baptist 1932 in Mullenbeck and the Church of St. Augustine 1935 in Forest. Completed only in 1969, and combining Art Deco with Neo-Byzantine elements, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Kokelberg is one of the largest Roman Catholic basilicas by area in the world, and its cupola provides a panoramic view of Brussels and its outskirts. Another example are the exhibition halls of the Centenary Palace Brussels Expo, built for the 1935 World Fair on the Hazel Plateau in northern Brussels. The Atomium is a symbolic 103-metre tall modernist structure, located on the Hazel Plateau, which was originally built for the 1958 World's Fair Expo 58. It consists of nine steel spheres connected by tubes, and forms a model of an iron crystal specifically, a unit cell, magnified 165 billion times. The architect A. Waterkeen devoted the building to science. It is now considered a landmark of Brussels. Next to the Atomium, is the Mini Europe Park, with 125 scale maquettes of famous buildings from across Europe. Since the second half of the 20th century, modern office towers have been built in Brussels Madhu Tower, Rogier Tower, Proximus Towers, Finance Tower, the World Trade Center, among others. There are some 30 towers, mostly concentrated in the city's main business district, the Northern Quarter also called Little Manhattan, near Brussels North Railway Station. The South Tower, standing adjacent to Brussels South Railway Station, is the tallest building in Belgium, at 148 metres 486 feet. Along the North-South Connection, is the State Administrative City, an administrative complex in the international style. The postmodern buildings of the Espace Leopold complete the picture. The city's embrace of modern architecture translated into an ambivalent approach towards historic preservation, leading to the destruction of notable architectural landmarks, most famously the Maison du Pupil by Victor Horta, a process known as Brusselization. Arts 
Brussels contains over 80 museums. The Royal Museums of Fine Arts has an extensive collection of various painters, such as Flemish old masters like Bruegel, Rogier van der Weyden, Robert Campen, Anthony van Dyck, Jacob Jordaens, and Peter Paul Rubens. The Magritte Museum houses the world's largest collection of the works of the surrealist René Magritte. Museums dedicated to the national history of Belgium include the Bellevue Museum, the Royal Museums of Art and History, and the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History. The Musical Instruments Museum MIM, housed in the Old England Building, is part of the Royal Museums of Art and History, and is internationally renowned for its collection of over 8,000 instruments. The city has had a distinguished artist scene for many years. The famous Belgian surrealists René Magritte and Paul Delvaux, for instance, studied and lived in Brussels, as did the avant-garde dramatist Michel de Gelderode. The city was also home of the Impressionist painter Anna Bach from the artist group Les XX, and includes others famous Belgian painters such as Léon Spillert and Guy Huygens. The city is also a capital of the comic strip. Some treasured Belgian characters are Tintin, Lucky Luke, the Smurfs, Spyro, Gaston, Marsupilami, Blake and Mortimer, Boule et Bill and Cubitus see Belgian comics. Throughout the city, walls are painted with large motifs of comic book characters. These murals taken together are known as the Brussels comic book route. Also, the interiors of some metro stations are designed by artists. The Belgian Comic Strip Centre combines two artistic leitmotifs of Brussels, being a museum devoted to Belgian comic strips, housed in the former Wakez department store, designed by Victor Horta in the Art Nouveau style. Brussels is well known for its performing arts scene, with the Kunstenfestival des Arts a festival of international contemporary art organized in May, the Theatre and Le Manet among the most notable institutions. The International Fantastic Film Festival of Brussels BIFFF is organized during the Easter holidays and the Magritte Awards in February. The King Baudouin Stadium is a concert and competition facility with a 50,000-seat capacity, the largest in Belgium. The site was formerly occupied by the Hazel Stadium. Furthermore, the Centre for Fine Arts often referred to as Beaux-Arts in French or PSK in Dutch, a multipurpose centre for theatre, cinema, music, literature and art exhibitions, is home to the National Orchestra of Belgium and to the annual Queen Elizabeth Competition for Classical Singers and Instrumentalists, one of the most challenging and prestigious competitions of the kind. The Studio 4 in Flaggy Cultural Centre hosts the Brussels Philharmonic. Other concert venues include Forest National, Vorst National, the Ancienne Belgique, the Cirque Royal, the Botanique and the Palais 12. The Jazz Station Saint Ten Noda is a museum and archive on jazz, and a venue for jazz concerts. Folklore Brussels' identity owes much to its rich folklore and traditions, among the liveliest in the country. The Omegang, a folkloric costumed procession, commemorating the joyous entry of Emperor Charles V in the city in 1549, takes place every year in July. The colorful parade includes floats, traditional giant puppets, such as Saint Michael and Saint Gudula, and scores of folkloric groups, either on foot or on horseback, dressed in medieval garb. The parade ends in a pageant on the Grand Place. The Mayboom, an even older folk tradition of Brussels 1308, celebrating the May tree, in fact, a bad translation of the Dutch Tree of Joy, takes place paradoxically on 9 August. After parading a young beech in the city, it is planted in a joyful spirit involving lots of music, Brusselaire songs, and giant puppets. It was recognized as an expression of intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO, as part of the binational inscription, Processional Giants and Dragons in Belgium and France. The celebration is reminiscent of the town's long-standing folkloric feud with Leuven, which dates back to the Middle Ages. Another good introduction to the Brusselaire local dialect and way of life can be obtained at the Théâtre Royal de Thun, a folkloric theatre of marionettes, located a stone throw away from the Grand Place. The Saint Verhagen, often shortened to Saint V, a folkloric student procession, celebrating the anniversary of the founding of the Université Libre de Bruxelles and the Vrije Universiteit Brussels, is held on the 20th of November. Topic: <laughs> Cultural events and festivals. Many events are organized or hosted in Brussels throughout the year. In addition, a large number of festivals animate the Brussels scene. 
The Iris Festival is the official festival of the Brussels capital region and is held every year in spring. The Festival of Europe, an open day and activities in and around the institutions of the European Union, is celebrated on 9 May. On Belgian National Day, on 21 July, a military parade and celebrations take place on the Place des Palais, Palaisenplein and in Brussels Park, ending with a display of fireworks in the evening. Some summer festivities include the Color Café Festival, a festival of world and urban music, around the end of June or early July, the Brussels Summer Festival BSF, a music festival in August, the Brussels Fair, the most important yearly fair in Brussels, lasting more than a month, in July and August, and Brussels Beach, when the banks of the canal are turned into a temporary urban beach. The Winter Wonders animate the heart of Brussels in December, these winter activities were launched in Brussels in 2001. Other biennial events are the Zinnick Parade, a colorful, multicultural parade through the city, which has been held since 2000 in May, as well as the popular flower carpet at the Grand Place in August. Heritage Days are organized on the third weekend of September coinciding with the Car Free Day and are a good opportunity to discover the wealth of buildings, institutions and real estate in Brussels. Cuisine. <coughs> <coughs> Brussels is known for its local waffle, its chocolate, its French fries and its numerous types of beers. The Brussels sprout, which has long been popular in Brussels, and may have originated there, is also named after the city. The gastronomic offer includes approximately 1,800 restaurants, and a number of high-quality bars. Belgian cuisine is known among connoisseurs as one of the best in Europe. In addition to the traditional restaurants, there are a large number of cafés, bistros, and the usual range of international fast food chains. The cafés are similar to bars, and offer beer and light dishes. Coffee houses are called salons de thé. Also widespread are brasseries, which usually offer a large number of beers and typical national dishes. Belgian cuisine is characterized by the combination of French cuisine with the more hearty Flemish fare. Notable specialities include Brussels waffles gaufres, and mussels usually as moules frites, served with fries. The city is a stronghold of chocolate and pralines manufacturers with renowned companies like Côte d'Or, Newhouse, House, Leonidas and Godiva. Pralines were first introduced in 1912, by Jean Newhouse II, a Belgian chocolatier of Swiss origin, in the Galleries Royale Saint Hubert. Numerous friteries are spread throughout the city, and in tourist areas, fresh hot waffles are also sold on the street. As well as other Belgian beers, the spontaneously fermented Lambic style, brewed in and around Brussels, is widely available there and in the nearby Seine Valley where the wild yeasts which ferment it have their origin. Creek, a cherry Lambic, is available in almost every bar or restaurant in Brussels. Brussels is known as the birthplace of the Belgian endive. The technique for growing blanched endives was accidentally discovered in the 1850s at the Botanical Garden of Brussels in St. Jos 10 Noda. Topic shopping Famous shopping areas in Brussels include the pedestrian only Rue Nove Dutch, Neustrat, the second busiest shopping street in Belgium after the mayor, in Antwerp, with a weekly average of 230,000 visitors, home to popular international chains H&M, C&A, Zara, Primark, as well as the City 2 and Anspach galleries. The Galleries Royale St. Hubert hold a variety of luxury shops and some 6 million people stroll through them each year. The neighborhood around Antoine Dansert Street has become, in recent years, a focal point for fashion and design. This main street and its side streets also feature Belgium's young and most happening artistic talent. In Ixelles, the Avenue de la Toison d'Or and Namur Gate area offer a blend of luxury shops, fast food restaurants, and entertainment venues, and Chasse d'Ixelles, in the Congolese Matangé district, offers a great taste of African fashion and lifestyle. The nearby Avenue Louise is lined with high end fashion stores and boutiques, making it one of the most expensive streets in Belgium. There are shopping centres outside the Inner Ring, Basilix, Wolu Shopping Centre, Westland Shopping Centre, and Docks Bruxelles, which opened in October 2017. In addition, Brussels ranks as one of Europe's best capital cities for flea market shopping. The Old Market, on the Place du Jus de Ballet, Vossenplein, in the Marolan neighbourhood, is particularly renowned. The nearby Sablin area is home to many of Brussels' antique dealers. The Midi Market around Brussels South Station and Boulevard du Midi, Zuidlan is reputed to be one of the largest markets in Europe. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Sports. Sport in Brussels is under the responsibility of the communities. The Administration de l'Education Physique et du Sport is responsible for recognizing the various French-speaking sports federations and also runs three sports centers in the Brussels capital region. Its Dutch-speaking counterpart is Sport Vlaanderen formerly called BLOSO. The King Bedouin Stadium, formerly Hazel Stadium is the largest in the country and home to the national teams in football and rugby union. It hosted the final of the 1972 UEFA European Football Championship, and the opening game of the 2000 edition. Several European club finals have been held at the ground, including the 1985 European Cup final which saw 39 deaths due to hooliganism and structural collapse. The King Bedouin Stadium is also home of the annual Memorial Van Damme Athletics event, Belgium's foremost track and field competition, which is part of the IAAF Diamond League. Other important athletics events are the Brussels Marathon and the 20 km of Brussels. Cycling Brussels is home to notable cycling races. The city is the arrival location of the Brussels Cycling Classic, formerly known as Paris-Brussels, which is one of the oldest semi-classic bicycle races on the international calendar. From World War I until the early 1970s, the Six Days of Brussels was organized regularly. In the last decades of the 20th century, the Grand Prix Eddy Merckx was also held in Brussels. Association football RSC Anderlecht, based in the Constant Vanden Stock Stadium in Anderlecht, is the most successful Belgian football club in the Belgian Pro League, with 34 titles. It has also won the most major European tournaments for a Belgian side, with six European titles. Brussels is also home to Union St. Gilloise, the most successful Belgian club before World War II, with 11 titles the club was founded in St. Giles but is based in nearby Forest, and currently plays in second division. White Star Bruxelles is another football club that plays in second division. Racing White Daring Molenbeek, based in St. Jans Molenbeek, and often referred to as RWDM, was a very popular football club until it was dissolved in 2002. Since 2015, its reincarnation RWDM 47 is back playing in the fourth division. Other Brussels clubs that played in the national series over the years were Ixelles SC, Crossing Club de Cherbique, born from a merger between RCS de Cherbique and Crossing Club Molenbeek, Scup Yetta, Rus de Laken, Racing Jet de Bruxelles, As Ottergem, KV Wostjot Wolu and FC Ganshoren. Economy <inaudible> 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 Serving as the centre of administration for Belgium and Europe, Brussels' economy is largely service-oriented. It is dominated by regional and world headquarters of multinationals, by European institutions, by various local and federal administrations, and by related services companies, though it does have a number of notable craft industries, such as the Cantillon Brewery, a Lambic brewery founded in 1900. Brussels has a robust economy. The region contributes to one-fifth of Belgium's GDP, and its 550,000 jobs account for 17.7% .7 of Belgium's employment. Its GDP per capita is nearly double that of Belgium as a whole, and it has the highest GDP per capita of any nuts one region in the EU, at $80,000 in 2016. That being said, the GDP is boosted by a massive inflow of commuters from neighbouring regions, over half of those who work in Brussels live in Flanders or Wallonia, with 230,000 and 130,000 commuters per day respectively. Conversely, only 16.0% of people from Brussels work outside Brussels 68,827 68.5% of them in Flanders and 21,035 31.5% in Wallonia. Not all of the wealth generated in Brussels remains in Brussels itself, and as of December 2013, the unemployment among residents of Brussels is 20.4%. There are approximately 50,000 businesses in Brussels, of which around 2,200 are foreign. This number is constantly increasing and can well explain the role of Brussels in Europe. The city's infrastructure is very favourable in terms of starting up a new business. 
House prices have also increased in recent years, especially with the increase of young professionals settling down in Brussels, making it the most expensive city to live in Belgium. In addition, Brussels holds more than 1,000 business conferences annually, making it the ninth most popular conference city in Europe. Brussels is rated as the seventh most important financial centre in the world. The Brussels Stock Exchange, abbreviated to BSE, now called Euronext Brussels, is part of the European stock exchange Euronext NV, along with Paris Bourse, Lisbon Stock Exchange and Amsterdam Stock Exchange. Its benchmark stock market index is the BEL20. Media Brussels is a centre of both media and communications in Belgium, with many Belgian television stations, radio stations, newspapers and telephone companies having their headquarters in the region. The Belgian-French language public broadcaster RTBF, the Belgian-Dutch-speaking public broadcaster VRT, the two regional channels BX1 formerly Tele Bruxelles and Bruz formerly TV Brussels, the encrypted BETV channel and private channels RTL TVI and VTM are headquartered in Brussels. Some national newspapers such as Le Soir, La Libre, De Morgan and the news agency Belga are based in or around Brussels. The Belgian postal company B Post, as well as the telecommunication companies and mobile operators Proximus, Orange Belgium and Telenet are all located there. The multilingual pan-European news channel Euronews also maintains an office in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> Education Topic Tertiary education There are several universities in Brussels. The two main universities are the Université Libre de Bruxelles, a French-speaking university, with about 20,000 students, in three campuses in the city and two others outside, and the Vrije Universiteit Brussels, a Dutch-speaking university, with about 10,000 students. Both universities originate from a single ancestor university, founded in 1834, namely the Free University of Brussels, which was split in 1970. At about the same time, the Flemish and French communities gained legislative power over the organization of higher education. Two other institutions based in Brussels are recognized as universities the Université Saint Louis, Bruxelles, specialized in social and human sciences, with 4,000 students, and the Royal Military Academy, a military college established in 1834 by a French colonel. Also a dozen of university colleges are located in Brussels, including two drama schools, founded in 1832, the French-speaking Conservatoire Royal and the Dutch-speaking Koninklijk Conservatorium. Still other universities have campuses in Brussels, such as the Université Catholique de Louvain, which has had its medical faculty in the city since 1973, in addition to its faculty of architecture, and its sister Catholique Université at Leuven offering bachelor and master's degrees in economics and business, law, arts, and architecture. In addition, the University of Kent's Brussels School of International Studies is a specialized postgraduate school offering advanced international studies. <laughs> Primary and secondary education Most of Brussels' pupils between the ages of 3 and 18 go to schools organized by the Flemish community or the French-speaking community, with roughly 20% going to Dutch-speaking schools, and close to 80% to French-speaking schools. Due to the post-war international presence in the city, there are also a number of international schools, including the International School of Brussels, with 1,450 pupils, between the ages of 2 one half and 18, the British School of Brussels, and the four European schools, which provide free education for the children of those working in the EU institutions. The combined student population of the four European schools in Brussels is currently around 10,000. Topic. Libraries Brussels has a number of public or private owned libraries on its territory. Libraries in Brussels fall under the competence of the communities and are usually separated between French-speaking and Dutch-speaking institutions, although some are mixed. Topic. Science and technology 
Science and technology in Brussels is well developed with the presence of several universities and research institutes. The Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences houses the world's largest hall completely dedicated to dinosaurs, with its collection of 30 fossilized iguanodon skeletons. The planetarium of the Royal Observatory of Belgium is one of the largest in Europe. Healthcare. Brussels is home to a thriving pharmaceutical and health care industry which includes pioneering biotechnology research. The health sector employs 70,000 employees in 30,000 companies. There are 3,000 life sciences researchers in the city and two large science parks, Da Vinci Research Park and Erasmus Research Park. There are five university hospitals, a military hospital and more than 40 general hospitals and specialist clinics. Transport Topic: <inaudible> Air The Brussels capital region is served by several airports, all of which are located outside of the administrative territory of the region. The most notable are Brussels National Airport, located in the nearby Flemish municipality of Zaventem, 12 km 10 miles east of the capital. Brussels South Charleroi Airport, located near Charleroi, Wallonia, some 50 km 30 miles southwest of Brussels. Melsbrook Air Base, located in Steenakerzeel, is mainly a military airport and is used in a minority way for civilian travellers. The first two are also the main airports of Belgium. Water Since the 16th century, Brussels has had its own harbour, the Port of Brussels. It has been enlarged throughout the centuries to become the second Belgian inland port. Historically situated near the St. Catherine, St. Catelyne Square, it lies today in the northwest of the region, on the Brussels Scheldt Maritime Canal commonly called Willebroke Canal, which connects Brussels to Antwerp via the Scheldt. Ships and large barges up to 4,500 tons can penetrate deep into the country, avoiding break-ups and load transfers between Antwerp and the centre of Brussels, hence reducing the cost for companies using the canal, and thus offering a competitive advantage. Moreover, the connection of the Willebroke Canal with the Brussels Charleroi Canal, in the very heart of the capital, creates a north-south link, by means of waterways, between the Netherlands, Flanders and the industrial zone of Hainaut, Wallonia. There, navigation can access the network of French canals, thanks to the important inclined plane of Ronquieras and the lifts of Strapi Braquinis. The importance of river traffic in Brussels makes it possible to avoid the road equivalent of 740,000 trucks per year, almost 2,000 per day, which, in addition to easing traffic problems, represents an estimated carbon dioxide saving of 51,545 tonnes per year. Train The Brussels capital region has three main train stations, Brussels South, Central and North, which are the busiest of the country. Brussels South is also served by direct high-speed rail links, to London by Eurostar trains via the Channel Tunnel 1 hour 51 minutes, to Amsterdam by Thales and Intercity Connections, to Amsterdam, Paris 1 hour 50 minutes and 1 hour 25 minutes respectively as of 6 April 2015, and Cologne by Thales, and to Cologne 2 hours 59 minutes and Frankfurt 3 hours 16 minutes by the German ICE. The train rails in Brussels go underground, near the centre, through the north-south connection, with the Brussels Central Station also being largely underground. The tunnel itself is only six tracks wide at its narrowest point, which often causes congestion and delays due to heavy use of the route. The city of Brussels has minor railway stations at Boxtel, Brussels Chapel, Brussels Congress, Brussels Luxembourg, Brussels Schumann, Brussels West, Heron, Heron South and Simonis. In the Brussels region, there are also railway stations at Bircham St. Agatha, Boitsfort, Boondale, Bordet, Everay, Etterbeek, Everay, Forest East, Forest South, Yetta, Mysore, Sherbeek, Moensburg, UCCLE, St. Job, UCCLE, Sharbeek, UCCLE Calavote, UCCLE Stahl, Vivier Doy Diesdel, UCCLE, Marode and Watermael.
Topic: <laughs> City public transport. The Brussels Intercommunal Transport Company STIB, MIVB is the local public transport operator in Brussels. It covers the 19 municipalities of the Brussels capital region and some surface routes extend to the near suburbs in the other regions. <laughs> Metro The Brussels Metro dates back to 1976, but underground lines known as Premetro have been serviced by tramways since 1968. The network consists of four conventional metro lines and three Premetro lines. The metro grade lines are M1, M2, M5, and M6, with some shared sections, covering a total of 40 kilometers 25 miles. As of 2017, the metro network within the region has a total of 69 metro and Premetro stations. The metro is an important means of transport, connecting with six railway stations of the National Railway Company of Belgium, and many tram and bus stops operated by STIB, MIVB, and with Flemish de Lijn and Walloon Tech bus stops. <laughs> Trams and buses A comprehensive bus and tram network covers the region. As of 2017, the Brussels tram system consists of 17 tram lines three of which, lines T3, T4 and T7 qualify as Premetro lines. The total route length is 139 km 86 miles, making it one of the largest tram networks in Europe. The Brussels bus network is complementary to the rail network. It consists of 50 bus routes and 11 night routes, spanning 445 km 277 miles. Since April 2007, STIB, MIVB has been operating a night bus network called Noctis. On Fridays and Saturdays, 11 bus routes operate from midnight until 3 a.m. They run from the center of Brussels to the outer reaches of the Brussels capital region. Ticketing an interticketing system means that a STIB, MIVB ticket holder can use the train or long-distance buses inside the region. A single journey can include multiple stages across the different modes of transport. The commuter services operated by de Lijn, Tech and NMBS, SNCB will, in the next few years, be augmented by the Brussels RER, GEN network, which will connect the capital and surrounding towns. Since August 2016, paper tickets have been discontinued in favor of electronic mobile cards. Topic: Other public transport. Since 2003, Brussels has had a car sharing service operated by the Bremen company Cambio, in partnership with the STIB, MIVB, and local ride-sharing company Taxi Stop. In 2006, a public bicycle sharing program was introduced. The scheme was subsequently taken over by Villo. Since 2008, this nighttime public transport service has been supplemented by Collecto, a shared taxi system, which operates on weekdays between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. In 2012, the Zencar electric car sharing scheme was launched in the university and European areas. Topic. Road network In medieval times, Brussels stood at the intersection of routes running north-south the modern Rue Haute, Hoogstraat and east-west Chasse de Gand, Gensistine Weg Rue du Marché aux Herbes, Grasmarkt Rue de Namur, Namsestraat. The ancient pattern of streets, radiating from the Grand Place, in large part remains, but has been overlaid by boulevards built over the River Seine, over the city walls and over the railway connection between the north and south stations. Today, Brussels has the most congested traffic in North America and Europe, according to U.S. traffic information platform Inrix. Brussels is the hub of a range of old national roads, the main ones being clockwise, the N1 N to Breda, N2 E to Maastricht, N3 E to Aachen, N4 S E to Luxembourg, N5 S to Reims, N6 S to Mabiuge, N7 S W to Lille, N8 W to Coxeda, and N9 N W to Ostend. Usually named Chasses, Steenwegen, these highways normally run in a straight line, but sometimes lose themselves in a maze of narrow shopping streets. 
The region is skirted by the European route E19 NS and the E40 EW, while the E411 leads away to the SE. Brussels has an orbital motorway, numbered R0 R0 and commonly referred to as the ring. It is pear-shaped, as the southern side was never built as originally conceived, owing to residents' objections. The city centre, sometimes known as the Pentagon, is surrounded by an inner ring road, the small ring French, Petite Centre, Dutch, Kleine Ring, a sequence of boulevards formerly numbered R20 or N0. These were built upon the site of the second set of city walls following their demolition. The Metro Line 2 runs under much of these. Since June 2015, a number of central boulevards inside the Pentagon have become car free, limiting transit traffic through the Old City. On the eastern side of the region, the R21 or Greater Ring French, Grande Centre, Dutch, Grote Ring is formed by a string of boulevards that curves round from Laken to UCCLE. Some pre-metro stations see Brussels Metro were built on that route. A little further out, a stretch numbered R22 leads from Zaventem to St. Job. <laughs> <laughs> Security and emergency services Police <laughs> 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 The Brussels Local Police, supported by the Federal Police, is responsible for law enforcement in Brussels. The 19 municipalities of the Brussels Capital Region are divided into six police zones, all bilingual 5,339 Brussels Capital Ixels, the city of Brussels and Ixels 5,340 Brussels West, Ganshoren, Jeddah, Kokelberg, Sint Agatha Bircham and Sint Jans Molenbeek 5,341 South, Anderlecht, Forest and St. Giles 5,342 UCCLE, Watermael Boitsfurt, Ottergem, Ottergem, UCCLE and Watermael Boitsfurt 5,343 Montgomery, Etterbeek, Wolu St. Lambert et Wolu Saint Pierre 5,344 Polbruno, Everay, St. Joss 10 Noda et Cherbeek Topic. Fire Department The Brussels Fire and Emergency Medical Care Service, commonly known by its acronym SIAMU DBDMH, operates in the 19 municipalities of Brussels. It is a Class 10 fire department and the largest fire service in Belgium in terms of annual operations, equipment, and personnel. It has nine fire stations, spread over the entire Brussels capital region, and employs about 1,000 professional firefighters. As well as preventing and fighting fires, SIAMU also provides emergency medical care services in Brussels via its centralized 100 number and the single 112 emergency number for the 27 countries of the European Union. It is bilingual French-Dutch. Parks and green spaces Brussels is one of the greenest capitals in Europe, with over 8,000 hectares of green spaces. Vegetation cover and natural areas are higher in the outskirts, where they have limited the peri-urbanization of the capital, but they decrease sharply towards the centre of Brussels, 10% in the central pentagon, 30% of the municipalities in the first ring, and 71% of the municipalities in the second ring are occupied by green spaces. A multitude of parks and gardens, both public and privately owned, are scattered throughout the city. In addition to this, the Sonian Forest is located in its southern part and stretches out over the three Belgian regions. As of 2017, it has been inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the only Belgian component to the multinational inscription primeval beach forests of the Carpathians and other regions of Europe. Notable people Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns and sister cities. Brussels is twinned with the following cities. Topic: Rankings. 
As of 2016, the Brussels capital region is ranked the 12th largest capital city of the European Union. See also Brussels Regional Investment Company Outline of Belgium Statue of Europe Notes <laughs>